What's good, boyos? Boyos and boyos and anyways, today. Here's why you can defend Kanye. And here's how to as well. So, first, um, don't pay attention to these. I don't really know how to get rid of them. And it's my sister's account. Like, I don't use Spotify. YouTube music's kind of the goat. My Spotify wrapped literally had like 170 minutes on it. And my alarm is set to Spotify, so. Uh, it was just my alarm. Anyways, let's get right into it. So, my first point. Kanye is literally the greatest artist of all time. One, college dropout. Two, late registration. Three, graduation. 808s. Like, Jesus. Jesus. The problem with Yeezus is that it was too revolutionary, and it's fucking crazy. But to be honest, if you can get behind a little bit of it, Black Skinhead is great. Onside is great. Hold My Liquor is great. Blood on the Leaves is great. Bound 2 is fantastic. And honestly, probably shouldn't belong on the album. It doesn't sound like any of the other songs. Still, probably the best song on the album, and, whoops, one of the better closers of, like, any album of all time. Okay, The Life of Pablo, some people don't like it. I can get that. Yay? Not bad. Ghost Town, Violent Crimes, All Mine, I Thought About Killing You. Kids See Ghosts. Feel the Love and Reborn are, like, the only good ones. Fourth Dimension ain't bad, but Kids See Ghost kinda kinda sucked. Plus it has seven tracks, so I don't I don't know what you want me to do about that. Next, Jesus is King. Right. One of the best gospel albums of all time. Right, you look at this from a rap standpoint and you say, Jesus is King is terrible. But you look at this from a gospel album, which it is, because there's, I don't believe there's any cuss words used, and like, follow God, closed on Sunday, Selah, use this gospel, uh, use this gospel is debatable, I like use this gospel a lot though, but that's 4 out of the 11, and it's still the best gospel, like, name a better gospel album, you'd have to do classical. Um, next is Donda, and see, Donda's great, right? If you ignore, like, the problem is that it has almost a three-hour runtime, right? You can get rid of all the, the first songs without a part two, all the songs with a part two, because most of them are better. But personally, Junya's goaded, OK OK is goaded, No Child Left Behind is goaded, Come to Life is goaded, Hell Division, I think was actually kind of mid. New Again is one of my favorites, Keep My Spirit Alive, great, great. Remote Control, he sampled Globgo Gabgo Lab, can't compete with that. 24 is great, Believe What I Say is great. Hurricane is great. Off the Grid is great. God Breathed, great. Like, you could have split this into two albums and put all the good songs on one album. Then it'd probably have a lot less cohesion, but it would also be one of the best albums. And if you put all the bad songs, it's above Jesus is King, which is still like, a 6, 7 out of 10 album. Then you have Donna Deluxe. 
bitch. Life of the party's good. Up from the ashes, I don't remember being too great. Never abandon your family, I think is kind of good. My spirit alive part two is not needed. I don't, uh, I don't know if there's any new ones. There's five. I couldn't name all five. I no control part two. What I need wasn't that good. But remote control part two. And it's just a longer remote. Right? So let's just uh let's just erase all that. One great artist. Secondly Right. You've also gotta realize and if you watch the interviews, all of his interviews we get, he's kind of been a little off the rails for a while now. Kanye is literally crazy. Like, he is bipolar and he stopped taking his medication two years ago. So I don't, like... Not to mention he was bipolar. On top of that, his mother died, which is just really not good. Like, just really, I mean, a lot of people would do some funky stuff if their mom died. And, you know, Kanye's been going down that route. He stopped taking his meds. Uh, he's going a, l a little crazy. <laughs> right. My, my third point. is not I don't want to say it's not in good faith it's not in bad faith right when you watch all these Kanye interviews it's like oh look at Kanye he's a Nazi he loves Hitler or he fucking hates Jewish people or something like that and the fact is that he doesn't. Right? I Okay, I can't say he doesn't. But when's the last time you saw Kanye, like, actively hurting or doing violence against people? Right? He's just saying that he doesn't like all the ones in power. Which, I'll be it. Holy shit, I didn't name I didn't name my beautiful darkness in fantasy, but you know, it's pretty damn good. I actually don't believe it's the best. Be be as hot of a take as that is. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy? Good. A lot of these I can I can like more. 808s is pretty fucking good. I mean Streetlights, Robocop, Paranoid, Love Lockdown, Heartless, Welcome to Heartbreak, Coldest Winter. They're pretty damn good. And to be honest, I think a lot of these miss. I don't like Blame Game at all. Runaway, I actually don't think is the best. See, for me, Runaway, one... It goes a little long. In two. It's like Devil in a New Dress I listen to. Lost in the World is much more spiritual to me. Like, it's just a much better listen. I like it a lot more. I'll just quit that. I don't. I don't know what this is. Like I said, it's my sister account. Whoopsie. Power is what gets you going. Monster has some of the best Nicki Minaj rapping ever. All the, the Lights is just, you know, one of those songs. And, like, other than that, I mean, it's kind of not a great album. Yeah, like, that's for an opener, I guess. I guess Dark Fantasy, not bad. And... I actually haven't listened to Watch the Throne that much because a lot of the songs are copyrighted since JC is a little pussy. 
But, uh, Otis is pretty good. I like No Church in the Wild. The rest I haven't listened to. I don't think I've listened to anything off Deluxe either. But where was I? Yeah, it's not in bad faith. Like, he's not trying to hurt them, per se. He's trying to spread awareness about where they are in society. Which, you know, it's racist to to want to hurt specifically Jewish people because of where they are and where they stand. It's not a good thing. But when when Kanye says, like, I love Hitler, like, he says, I love everyone. He says, I love Jewish people as well. It's it's not that I don't believe that what he's doing is wrong, but I don't believe that he's really being malicious. Like, I don't think he's actually trying to do anything. I think, you know, he's trying to spread awareness. And, you know, I think, it, I think it's racist to try and de-platform Jewish people. But I don't think Kanye is, like, actively trying to do it. I don't. I think there are much worse racists in the world who are doing a lot more harm than Kanye. Um, let's see. And then four is just number one again. Right? He's literally just the greatest of all time. And lastly, number five, who gives a, I'm going to have to do asterisks here, which might be a little hard, but like, who actually cares? Kanye's an artist. If you're not listening to Kanye because you think he's a Nazi, then you're dumb because like... He's barely getting any money anymore, and every sponsor he had dropped him. Like, every single one. The idea that you're somehow taking away his platform and, like, letting him not succeed because you're not listening to his music is absolutely ridiculous, and you're dumb. Like... Uh, no Kanye song has ever brought up that he hates people. It, I can't get it if you don't listen to Kanye because you don't like rap. That's why. But the idea that you hate him because he's a racist for some reason is just ridiculous to me. I I don't know how or why you would feel. So, anyways, to... uh. To reiterate, right, number one, good artist, you know, greatest of all time. If you don't want to say he's the greatest rapper, you know, I'm okay with that. I don't know if I'd call him the greatest rapper. I think Kendrick, Miles better than him as a rapper standpoint. But in terms of making, like, revolutionary in, like, uh, culture, culture shocking, culture changing songs. 808s was super influential. Like, late registration, college dropout. Some, some damn good fucking album. And I think a lot of ratings you're gonna see in rap now are drunken and Kanye because of the shit he sang, but. It's like. No. Like, it is good. If you give it a listen. You know, you might not be happy with every song, but you'll be happy with probably 80% of them. Two, like I said, literally crazy. I, he's bipolar. He's off his meds. His mother died. Like, I don't... He... It's crazy that... It's like when you argue with a homeless person about like 
you know, you know the ones in California and LA and stuff. You, you, you've seen the videos. I don't have to go into this. But trying to, trying to argue with some drug monks about stuff, it's just not a good idea. You're, there's no winning. Um, not in bad faith. I don't know if I went in depth enough, but he's not, he's not doing like terrible things against people. He's just saying, he's just like kind of support all costs, which I disagree with. You know, I didn't like the Holocaust. That's weird to say. Not a big fan of it. You know, Kanye's just saying that they're in power. You know, I, I don't support the Holocaust. Please don't cancel me. Anyways, on to the next one. Like I said, he's literally the greatest artist of all time. I, uh, I don't know what to tell ya. And five, I'll leave you out with this. Who cares? Who cares? If you're not listening to an artist because you think he's a racist, then there are much worse things you could not listen to an artist for. YNW Melly literally murdered a dude. Like, people are hating on a crazy dude more than a murderer. Uh, I think Kodak Black, someone too. I could be wrong about that, and I probably am. I, I think Kodak did do touchy shit, though. But, yeah. Who really cares? So, uh, that's gonna be it. Nice pee. Peace out. I didn't have my water with me today. I... Left in the kitchen. Peace out. Stay hydrated. Remember to have a good day. See ya.